Two primary themes running through the Seven Hill Horizon project were the sound of the shofar and the holy number seven. The shofar was used many times in the Bible, not just by Joshua to fell the walls of Jericho, but on many other occasions. Seven signifies completeness and is the holy number of God. The Seven Hill Horizon project brochure documents how the Holy Bible references both the shofar and the number seven repeatedly. Accordingly, the number seven featured as a recurring theme in many of the week's activities. Some of this was planned, but some of it was most definitely not. Examples of how the number seven featured are listed as follows. Our project lasted seven complete days. The first sound of the shoulder was blasted out at exactly 7 p.m. To start off the project, Seven times the chauffeur was blown at the hill of Tara, and also Dunblane. Seven times was the mound of the hostages walked around, as it was with Joshua in the Battle of Jericho. The middle part of the project was located around the city of Seven Hills. The chauffeur was blown in seven different locations in Sheffield. The chauffeur was blown in seven different locations in Barnsley. The project reached its climax exactly seven days after its start time at 7pm on the seventh day of the seventh month of the year just after the seven chimes of Big Ben. A secondary theme of the project was the 7-7 seven -seven wooden bombing. On the day of 7-7, seven -seven, the chauffeur was blown at seven different locations directly associated with the 7-7 seven -seven false flag attacks. On the day of 7-7, seven -seven, the shofar was blown at seven other strategic locations in Westminster and London in direct opposition to the corruption and deceit in both the church, the state and the media. The Seven Hill Horizon project started in July 2013 last year and is due to be released as a film this year on the ninth anniversary of the 7-7, that's the 7th of July 2014. I want the final words in this film to end by reading from the first seven verses of a well-known passage from the Old Testament, which refers to the triumphant king and the holy hill of Zion. I suggest that this passage is every bit as applicable in the world we live today as it was in the time of King David. It is taken from Psalm 2, the triumph of the king. Why do the unenlightened rage and the people imagine a futile thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the I Am and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bonds asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh, the Lord shall make fools of them. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and terrify them in his fury. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of gathering. I will declare the decree. The I am hath said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I created for thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the unenlightened for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with the rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the I Am with fear, and rejoice with trembling. Kiss my son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way, when his wrath is kindled just a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. So there you have it from Christ, the second coming. As in the times of Jericho, all nations imagine a vain thing, plot and conspire against the Lord and his anointed. But God will not be mocked. Joshua, upon God's command, 
marched around the walls of Jericho seven times and blew the shofar to call upon the mighty works of God. God answered the Israelites and wreaked havoc upon those who sought to mock him behind the walls of Jericho. The walls could not protect the corrupt and evil ones from the wrath of God and neither will your walls of silence. Realize this, you are the British Israelites and you have plainly turned from God just as in the days of Noah and Sodom and Gomorrah. The walls of silence and the walls of corruption must be brought down.